Good morning, YouTube. This is Custom K here with KKRC Productions. Uh, I saw a couple videos on YouTube about how to mix oil and gas um, to the proper ratio. So I figured, you know, why not make one myself and also uh, make it more specific to the HPI Baja, which is what I'm going to be doing this for today. Um, so I'll just go over everything and the steps you need to take and the things to look out for. Um, so here I've got everything laid out that you might need. A rag just to wipe up any spills or your hands and things like that. A funnel, obviously. Um, I've got exactly a gallon of uh, high octane gas. I believe it's 93 octane. Um, and also some two cycle engine oil. Um, things that you, that you need to know when you're mixing gas, um, for one, is you want to make sure that you always shake, if it's already mixed, your oil and gas, you want to make sure that you always shake up your gas thoroughly before pouring it into your Baja um, so it's properly mixed. You know, it tends to settle if you haven't used it in a while. Um, another, another thing to look out for is when you're, when you're mixing your gas and getting your ratios, if you're not sure, always look it up what the ratio is you need. And also, having too little or too much is never good. Um, but I think it's safe to say that having a little more is definitely better than having less. Um, if you don't have the right ratio and you have too little oil, you know, you can seize your engine up. You can, you can, it can cause a lot of damage. Um, if you have too much oil, you know, at, at worst, you may file a spark plug. Um, you may have some oil blowing out of your exhaust pipe, um, but you're not going to cause as much damage as to have as having too little oil in your uh, gas oil ratio in your mix. So if you're not sure, a little more is better than not enough. Um, so for the Baja, they recommend a 25 to 1 um, oil gas mix ratio. So I'm going to show you how to mix that today uh, for one gallon of gas. Um, and I've already got gas in here, but it's really better to put the oil in first and then mix the gas. That way when you pour the gas into your gas can, it, it tends to mix it up as it's going in. But we can't do that here since I've already got the gas, so I'll just show you. Um, a, a 25 to 1 ratio for one gallon of gas is approximately 5 point twelve ounces of oil so I've picked up this oil here just at Walmart um, it's it's really a no-name brand I, I would have liked to got a better quality um, oil but uh, it's early and all and all the AutoZone places and, and auto parts stores are still closed so um, any any two cycle oil will do um, it's really just a preference so I'll go ahead and get started and show you how to do this here we'll open up the gas can Take everything off. Um, and like I said, when you're mixing your your oil and your gas, it's best to do it in an open area outside, preferably um, just a well ventilated area, um, because there will be fumes produced, obviously. And um, you know you don't want to do it next to any flame so flame source or spark or or any anything like that, because you don't want to blow yourself up. Okay, so this, um, this oil here has a pre-measure up at the top, um, and I believe that this here it says it's uh, 2.6 ounces. So approximately I'm going to fill this thing up twice, and then about halfway full um, for the third time uh, to get a 25 to 1 ratio. This is for one gallon. So we're going to go ahead and do that here. We'll fill it up, pour it in. Fill it up one more time. Okay, so as we pour this in, that there is 4.12 ounces of oil that I've put in this gas so far. So now is what I want to do is I'll just kind of have to guesstimate a little bit. And like I said, it's better to have a little bit more than not enough. Um, obviously, you want to get it as close as possible to the proper to the proper mix. So we need one more ounce. So I feel like it's safe to say that that there is about one ounce. 
So we'll pour the last bit in. Make sure we get it every last drop. You know, like I said, it's always better to have as close to the right ratio as possible. But if you're not sure, a little extra is better than not enough, like I said. So there we go. We've got the oil mixed. Or we've got it poured in the can. Now we'll mix it up. So is what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to screw this lid back on here. Just like this. Put this lid on so it won't splash out on me. And we'll shake it up. Oh, that's not going to work. Gonna have to do it the proper way here. So we'll put this back in there. Washing off all my letters here I just wrote on there. Now we'll shake it up real good. You want to make sure that you mix it as thorough as possible um, so when you pour it into your Baja you don't get more oil than gas or more gas than oil more importantly. Okay, so I'll shake it up a little more um, before I pour it into my Baja. Okay, so if you give me just a moment, we'll set up the Baja. Okay, so I got the Baja set up out here, so we'll go ahead and um, add the fuel. Like I said before, before you do add the fuel, you want to go ahead and give it one more good shake just to make sure that it is thoroughly mixed. Um, that's very, very important. So we'll do that shake it up one more good time so it's not all sitting on the top or the bottom okay I think we're ready I have this uh, fancy gas can here I haven't used it yet I'm not sure how much I'm gonna like this thing let's see if it uh, how well it works And of course, no gas comes out. Hmm. I hate these new gas caps. They're so stupid. Okay, there we go. So, that's how it works. So that's it guys, and that is how you mix oil and gas for your HPI Baja 5B. Thanks for watching.